Welcome back to another episode of Quest for One Piece. This is Mr. Spamov, and today I'm very excited to share with you my newest set to the collection. Today we'll be unboxing the One Piece WCF Revolution Army Set. Welcome back to my channel! Before we begin guys, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell for more One Piece WCF unboxing videos. Do comment down below and let me know which set you would like to see me unbox in my next video. Today we'll be unboxing members of the Revolution Army, an extremely powerful military organization that directly opposes the world government and seek to dismantle it. Okay, so maybe we will take a look at the art of this piece. Okay, this is the lineup. So later I will be introducing to you one by one the member of this set, as well as some other characters who are part of the Revolution Army. Okay, so this is the Revolution Army flag. Okay, so this is the dragon head and the wing, which uh, is refer referencing to the leader of this revolution army which is monkey the dragon okay so the r and a is of course the revolution army uh, initials okay so maybe let's take a look at the background art of this packaging so this used to be the former base of operation which is the island of Bautigo. This island is actually hidden from the world map until the Blackbeard pirates found about this location. But after an intensive battle with the Blackbeard pirates, the Revolution Army decided to relocate to the Momoro Island, also known as the Kamabaka Kingdom, owned by Inmankov. Alright, first up, we have the worst, worst criminal, Monkey the Dragon, Supreme Commander of the Revolution Army. He is the father of Monkey D. Luffy and the son of Monkey D. Gup. Next up, the Revolution Army Chief of Staff, Sebo, recognized as the number 2 of the entire organization, ranking directly under Monkey D. Dragon himself. So, the Revolution Army is split into 5 armies, each of which operate in a specific region of the world. So, firstly we have Molly, the commander of the West Army, which operates in the West Blue. And then we have the Flag Bearer of Freedom, Bello Betty, the commander of the East Army, which operates in the East Blue. Next, we have Lingberg, a cat's mink and commander of the South Army, which operates in the South Blue. And lastly, we have Karasu, the commander of the North Army, which operates in the North Blue. So joining us in this video are the other members of the Revolution Army from other series and volume. Special mentioning Invankov, the commander of the G Army, which operates in the Grand Line. This figuring is from TV series volume 11. Not forgetting Kuma, a former officer of the Revolution Army and also a former Tsuchibukai. Next, we have Inazuma from Request Selection Set, the Deputy Commander of the G Army serving under Ivankov. From History of Sebo Set, we have Kola and Hundredth Dan Hek, a Japanese soldier fish fisherman who are member of the Revolution Army and often seen working with Sebo. So this is all the Revolution Army figuring that I have. You can watch my other One Piece WCF TV series volume for Ivankov and Kuma. So before we unbox guys, as always give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button along the way to see me unbox the other Revolution Army members in their respective series. So first up, coming at number 1, we have Monkey D. Dragon. So there's the stand and base and Dragon himself. Okay, so this is Monkey D. Dragon. 
Okay, so this figuring he has this uh spiky hair. Okay. And a widow's pick. Very prominent widow's pick. As you can see, Dragon here has this signature red tattoo on the left side of his face. So Dragon usually dressed in a long ring clock, as you can see from here. As the leader of the revolutionaries, he has full control of the organization and the world government has dubbed him as the world's worst criminal. Political powers aside, it is currently unknown how strong Dragon really is, but there have been some hints that Dragon is extremely powerful. So let's compare Dragon okay, with the first volume of One Piece WCF TV series. Okay, so this is Dragon then and now. Okay, so as you can see, they have the same as uh, tattoo, same tattoo, the same spiky hair. Okay, and this a uh, very prominent widow's pig. Uh, maybe this one, the new one, the widow's pig is a bit crooked. Okay, then the eye of the older dragon is um much more bigger. I think the head is bigger in the past. Now they kind of like change the proportion a bit for the newer figurines. Coming in at number two, we have Sabo. Okay, so it comes with the base and stand and Sabo himself. Okay, so Sabo he has uh, this signature scar okay, on his left eye. I think this is Sabo's outfit during the Leverly Up where he dons this uh, long white jacket with a black shirt and blue vest. A frilled cravat and a simple belt holding a pair of Luzon light blue pants with black boots. Sebo is the current user of the Mira Mira no Mi, a Logia type devil fruit. With it, Sebo is able to become the element of fire and control the flames from his body at will. I look forward to seeing him master his devil fruit ability. Next up, we have Molly. At number three, okay, is Molly. So it comes with the base and stand, the weapon, and Molly himself. Okay, so Molly, Molly is a giant and an Okama. He's a very hairy and portly giant. So Moli, he has this uh, straight moustache and shaggy chin strap beard. He wears very little clothing. As you can see, there's only the skirt. There's some belts around his arms. Then uh, these uh, dark green gloves and this flower symbol at his uh, left hand. Then he has this bowler hat with uh, goggles and carrying this uh, weapon pack. So Moli builds a large harbun trident hybrid which he uses in conjunction with his devil fruit power to move the ground. He adds the Ushi Ushi no Mi that allows him to push away substance and easily move underground. Coming in at number 4, we have Betty. Bello Betty. So it comes with uh, the base and stand and then there's this uh, the tip of the flag and tip of the flag and of course Betty herself. Okay so supposed to go through this hole here. The tip here. Nice. Okay, so here we have uh, Bello Betty. She has this very nice uh, purple hair in bob cut. So as you can see, usually she will wear a pair of uh, black 
frame sunglasses with uh, red lenses which cover her, her eyes but in this figuring she didn't wear one so she also wears a red lipstick and usually seen smoking with a cigarette Betty wears a red top hat with uh, red goggles and a pair of red curled horns on the front and a long and puffy white plume on the back she wears a red tie and as she leaves her crop red jacket with pink outlines open her torso is barely covered she has a red and white striped stocking under her red tie high boots her frilly red skirt is short on the front and long at the back and she also carries around a large flag with the revolution army symbol on it so betty at the kobu kobu no mi that allows her to encourage and rally people into fighting, increasing their resolve and physical strength. And coming in in number 5, we have Limber or Lin in short. Okay, so it comes with the base and stand and Limber himself. Okay, so Limber is a short cat mink with a dark blue colored hair. As you can see here, he has this uh, dark blue color hair. Uh, he wears a red button shirt, white pants, dark boots, and an orange button coat. He also wears goggles over his eyes. They have light blue lenses, a top hat with another set of goggles. And on his back, he has this um, jetpack. Okay, so this is the, the flying effect of the jetpack. Then there's also this bazooka with him, his weapon. So Lindbergh here is a highly skilled and talented inventor who creates weapons and gadgets of advanced technology that he uses for combat. In addition, he is a mink. So he's a natural born warrior and that means he's able to transform it to a Sulong form though it's unknown if he can control it. Coming in at number 6, we have Karasu. So comes with just the base and Karasu. Very cool character. Okay, so Karasu is a tall, muscular, and bored man. He wears half of a plate doctor mask on his face that acts like a loudspeaker as he is a very quiet and usually talks through inaudible mumbling. Thus, he, need, he needs this loudspeaker mask to be heard by others. Karasu here, he wears a open dark feathered coat that leaves his chest exposed. As you can see, there's some like crows flying out of his feathered coat. Okay, very cool effect. So there's these two crows here. His overall attire gives him a crow-like theme and appearance. The type of devil fruit that he has eaten is still unknown to us, which allows him to turn his body and clothes into a murder of crows and the ability to talk to crow. So overall, I really enjoy this set and the lineup featuring the commanders of the revolutionary armies. It would be cool if they have involved uh, Imankov and Kuma in their revolutionary army outfit. I would love to see that. Uh, apart from that, I think this set is really awesome and I'm glad that uh, Ben Presto has came out with this set. Alright guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. You can follow me on my Facebook and Instagram page to get the latest updates. Do watch my other One Piece WCF unboxing videos. I'll see you guys on my next video. This is Mr. Smallmouth. Peace out.